Hello, you are welcome to You Can Make It. It's an exciting time, always coming to share talk with you on You Can Make It. I want you to know that life will not give you what you deserve. Life will give you what you demand. Don't be afraid to start whatever you want to start. You know, it might be lit you, but don't be ashamed. Today, this is Simon and Samata, and today I have a guest in the house, Lake is with me here, brother Lake. Thank you for always coming to share thoughts with us on You Can Make It. Thank you. I, I want to let you know this. It doesn't matter where you are today. It doesn't matter how small it is. Start small. Everything big, start small. Everything big you see today. Now, I want to start with myself. Once upon a time, I was just weighing more than, not less than 3 kg. In my mother's hand. I was in my mother's room. Came out alive. In my mother's hand, not weighing up to three kg, and little by little, today I am more than four, six feet, you know, six feet five or whatever. Now, but I want you to know this: you can make it. It doesn't matter how it is. Starting little, if you despise the day of little beginning, those great things you are looking for, you might not be able to get there. So we are going to look at hindrances that make people not to start small hindrances things that you do that hinder your progress line things that you do that hinder your progress line that great future you are looking at what is it that is stopping you from getting there now information is the basic for transformation but information apply makes you get to your destination hello Lakey. i know you have some things to share with us today on starting little so that we don't despise the day of our little beginning so that yeah. that great thing that we are looking for we can get there so let's go i think uh, number one thing on our list today yes will be the subject of pride mm. uh, looking at it uh because uh until you are able to win the battle of pride uh no one we attain greatness mm. uh, so uh what will people say uh, if they see me starting very small it's a very glorious assignment yeah <laughs> but how to start it now nobody can start from the top yes uh, it has to be from the top. yeah uh, so if you jump up you will come down mm -hmm. but if you grow up somebody said you will stay there, you there. Stay there. Uh, so we must be able to remove the the matter of pride what people think about you uh what you think about yourself mm -hmm. because it starts with self first yes. you are thinking that uh, uh I, I went to harvard university uh i had a for cl first class and then uh, now you are here then you want to be dancing around with uh, people that you count as nothing but everybody is something including you if you are able to uh to to put uh, uh to right. look at the post, uh, to subject of pride and then come low the bible says because i read bible a lot <laughs> the bible says when you start low and you bring yourself low god himself will gradually Maybe bring you home mm. thank you wow now if those are profound statements he said if you if you grow up you will sustain it but if you don't if you jump you will break now i find out that there are two things you can start from the top you know what i find out you can start from the top two things you can start from the top for those of you that are on the first lane your grave and your well these <laughs> are the two <laughs> things you start from the top you dig your grave when you want to start from the top, yeah. it's your grave that you are digging. When you start from the top, you are digging your, your well. Grave. Now, but any other thing you can start from the bottom. We are dealing with pride in today. What are the things that stop you from getting to that great height you want to attain? Pride. Now, when pride, pride go ahead before destruction. Pride go ahead before a fall. You know, they that compare themselves among themselves are not wise. Yeah. So today, as you listen to us on you can make it, you must deal with the subject of pride. Because pride is hindrance. Pride will make you not to do that thing you need to do to take you to where you are going. It's always very, very good for you to learn to humble yourself. Don't be proud. Don't count on the things that you have attained before. Those that passed, what are you doing now? And I found out in life, if you don't do something with life, life will do something with you. One of you must do something. So it's very important for us to drop pride. That's number one we are looking at. Number two. And he's a twin brother, shame. Wow. It affected me sometimes ago. <laughs> uh, the issue of shame. You don't want to be seen 
doing something that people call small. Mm. Everybody wanted to be seen at the top. Mm. So I was to start a, a business. And uh, I look at it. <laughs> I told myself, I have to pass small. So the issue of sin, I just pushed this aside. I was a pastor over a church. Uh, that time that I wanted to start the business. And the business appeared not to be the business for, uh, you know, oh, that you can, yes, yeah, at all. Because I was going to be serving my, my church members. I have to be providing services for them, and they, are, they were going to be paying me. So I, 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 put, I look at it this way, this way. The, the people around me, like wife and uh, uh, children, they were like, um, no, you can't, uh, you can't go this way. But somehow, I received the help of God, was able to push aside him like Jesus did. They say because of where he was going, he knew he was going there, it was glorious. He despised the same, and he went to the cross. So, when we put Sam aside, and then we are now able to go and face our cross, you discovered that there's no height that anybody cannot get to. Mm. So, somehow, I started it, and uh, provided the service unto the people, and then, at first, of course, they loved me to scorn. But, I insisted that uh, I was going to make it to the top in that, um, uh, business. that, that business. And somehow, you know, we, we kept pushing and pushing and pushing. I'm sure a lot of people who are, watch, who are watching us from Kaduna now, uh, they will attest to this fact. But truly speaking, I insist and I showed as an example like Paul did. Say, I'm a pastor. I'm not going to beg to train my children. I'm not going to beg to eat. So if there's something I can do that can give me that can give me more food on your table. Yeah, that can put food on my table. I should go ahead. And luckily, my boss that time uh, allowed me to to do the business. He was even one of the Customer. first customers. Yeah. Uh, so he asked me, come to the school, uh, do Pick render something. your uh, service. service. Come to the house, render, render your service. service. Even in the church where I pastor, they said, come and render your service there. And uh, I gave them, uh, I rendered the service, and they began to pay all other people around the neighborhood. Room, uh, the neighborhood. They started uh, because someone is able to push shame aside, mm. and then looking at where it's going. So at the end of the day, by the grace of God, the business is still on today. Till tomorrow. It's over ten years now, and tomorrow it will be on, and money is still entering my pocket. Wow! Thank you very much. Wow! You can make it. You can now, make it. Now, we are listening to what you just said. Now, that little business that he started, started growing. You know, if you grow, you can sustain it. If you jump, you will break your leg. I told you that the only thing you can start from the top is your grief and your wealth. Then he talked about something. That if you remove shame, shame will make you not to look at whatever pain you are going through. Yeah. If you drop shame, you can make it. Don't be ashamed to go do something with your hand that will put food on your table. Don't be ashamed to render service. I have often said in this program, service is the rent you pay for every space you occupy. Every space mm. that you occupy is service. Service as we do services, things begin to enter our hand. Don't lie down there like a lizard and say, nobody comes to help me. Nobody will help a man that is lazy. Nobody will help a man that is not doing anything. If you need help, start. A journey of a thousand miles will start with one step. So don't be ashamed to do something with your life. Don't be ashamed to put service. Because when you put services, you will earn profit. And just talking will lead to poverty. But service will bring profit to your life, to your family, to your business, to everyone around you. Even everyone around you will benefit from your service that will lead to profit. What next do you have to share with us on this? You can make it today. Uh, what will people say? Wow. What will people say? What will people say? Hmm. Now, the question is, what concerns you people. about what people you are see? saying when you know where, where you, you are, are going. going? Now, I've met a number of brethren. Uh, they even say they are children of God. And they are not doing anything. Okay, 
there's an opportunity, come and sweep. No, when the people see me sweeping, uh -huh. what will they say? So they remain at home. Wow. And I read it from a book. One man of God said, living without walking is dying without knowing. Wow. Ah, I, one of the things that is pushing me to today said, living without walking is dying, is dying without, without knowing. knowing. You don't know. But you are so, dying daily. So did the people is with certificate now, it's now seven years. And uh, <laughs> is, uh, no job, what's coming? Not as if there's no job. There are jobs everywhere. But what will people say when they see me, you know, Doing standing? The job, the, job we are, uh, the place where I'm presently working. Now, when I, when I came to town, I, I didn't know the, the place. And then I was already looking for a driving job to do. And, uh, you know, here and there. Now, if somebody at that time had called me and said, okay, come to this place, uh, we are looking for a driver. I will have picked up the, the, the employment. But as God will have it, somebody that took me there I had, seemed to, you know, he, he heard about a, a Aya something there. And they called me. But what I'm saying is, at the beginning, if nobody knows anything, and somehow I stumble into that place, into the same place, uh, and uh, they said they are looking for a, a, a transport officer, a driver, I will have applied. And if they have employed me, till now, I, maybe I likely will, uh, will have been doing the job gladly. But somebody will say no, uh, because uh, I have this, I have that one, I have this one. What do you have when uh, you don't have anything, anything to eat? Now, you ask a question. What do you have when you cannot provide food for your children? What do you have when you cannot meet up the needs that is the present? Listen to me. Don't allow what people say to put you down what we are talking about you can make it today do something sometimes they are looking for just a little qualification and you have a big one drop the big one yeah. take the little one yeah. get into that place by the time they discover you know some days ago i was reading an article about a security man that became a manager in the company a security man yes a security man that became a manager in the company what happened this 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 young man came in as a security but he was a graduate but he stays there as a security person and he was doing his job every time they come there's a way he does his own thing and they begin to ask what well, where well, the security doesn't do like this and they now find that the md of the company later find out that he was a graduate and that was how they move him they move him from that place yeah, to yeah. become what he is today now listen to me don't allow shame pride what is the next thing? What people will say? Yeah. These are the things we have talked about today. Or you can make it shame, pride. What people will say? Let the people will always say something. Is their head? Is their mouth? They have it. Allow them to use it. But you can make it by commitment, by being diligent in what you are doing. Don't allow what people say to put you down. You know, as we were just talking many years ago, I, I entered into just town. And I needed to start a walk. But because I have not started the kind of work I want to start, yeah. what did I do? I started driving my own car as a cabo cabo <laughs> to carry a passenger. Beautiful. You see, eh, there are so many things you can do. What are we talking about today? How you can start small. Don't despise those little things you can do. You see, begging is not good. Going from one place to another, begging people is not good. There is no future for a beggar. A beggar have no choice. A beggar will get whatever. But a man that asks for job, that man will get, the, if, he, if he has service to render, that man will get more than enough. You will have and you also have to give. Yeah. Begging is not good. A nation, a people, a family that lives on begging will go down. Because you, you can't, a man you beg yesterday, will you begin to beg him every day? So it's very important for us to know that. I applied myself. I started doing Kabu Kabu. But I want to tell you something. That Kabu Kabu was what gave me the land in Abuja. From Joss. That Kabu Kabu. Inside that Kabu Kabu, that was how I got the land 
that we are using today, that I, we have today and we are built on it today. I want to let you know this. You can make it. Don't despise what you have. Don't despise what you have. We all have a, we, we read a, we read stories from the from the Bible. Let me tell you about this little story before we call it a day. There is a man called David. And he was confronted with Goliath. What did David do? He took the little stone. The stone that he has. He did not look at Goliath's size. Because that was what he has. Use what you have. When you use what you have, God will help you. And you will break through with what you have. Yeah. Are you seeing my hand? That was how David was using the little stone. Yeah. And before you know it, he threw it. And that word came to who he may be concerned. And he got to the man that needed it the most. In the right place. Let me tell you something. The little you have today can get you to where you are going. Don't despise what you have. And begin to look for what you don't have. A man that thinks that a borrowing will make him great in life. Will leave a servant to the one that led to him. A borrower is a servant to the lender. Don't be a slave in life. Don't be a slave to other men. Don't be a slave to other countries. Stop borrowing. Start applying yourself. Every nation, every people, every family has something to offer. Use what you have to get what you want. You can make it. It doesn't matter what is happening. You can make it. We are challenging you today. Oh, you can make it that you should apply yourself and i believe as you apply yourself the god that make the heavens and the earth will smile on you never despise the day of little beginning we'll be coming back we'll be back after this we are going to be coming back in the second edition to talk about this not despising day of little beginning thank you for always being a part of this program until we see you again in our next edition god bless you you can make it thank you Thank you.